Welcome to Now You Know TV. On this channel, we take you out of what is ordinary and bring you to fact and logic. So as you can see guys, I'm holding what we call a broom. Yes, a broom. And this broom is a special one. Why? Because this is what we use in Africa. And it's called Fagio Yamakuti. Fagio Yamakuti. Today I'm going to show you how the broom is made and how we sweep with the broom here in Kenya, Africa. I'm also going to show you our farm, our kitchen garden, what we've planted, just for you to see and to enjoy the culture, the small things that we enjoy here in Africa. So, karibu sana. So I'll start by showing you. This is what we call CIT. Yes, this one here is what we call the branch. Yeah? And this branch, we take it from our coconut tree up there. You can show them the coconut tree. And we have two of them. Uh, they also call it the palm tree. So they use that one uh, and they take this branch. Show them the branch. Yes, from that tree. And then now, so now let me show you how we make them yeah so after you've removed the branch now we have things that are like this huh? i don't know what they're called in english but now these ones they look like this you see so where is the broom the broom is this part you know the brown part you know, the video can show it properly yeah so what do you do for so that it can become a whole broom like this one you take a knife as you can see here and then you you remove uh, yeah so you remove like this you see uh -huh. So you make sure you can cut all the unnecessary parts. My broom is a, my my knife is not very sharp, but you you are supposed to use a very a very you cut this part over here. So after cutting, you make sure it's so smooth. Yeah, no unnecessary uh, part. So like this. See, let me show you again. You take again this part, as I have shown you right now. Then you try to find this smooth, nani, the, the smoothest part. You remove all this unnecessary part. You see? Yeah, my knife is a little bit blunt, but you're supposed to use a, a sharp knife. Yeah? So this is the part that joins the leaf. This is the leaf. Yeah? So it's like a backbone, eh? backbone of it. So you remove like that. There we are. You see? So now we have two of them. So you do it like that. You make sure you have like 50, like this, or more. You see? Then now you have to tie it with a bladder. Right now I don't have a bladder to show you how we tie it, but this is what we've tied it with, and we have a whole broom. So now the next step I'm going to show you. I want to show you how we sweep, you see, with the African broom, called the Fagio Yamakuchi. Fagio Yamakuchi, go. And this is how we sweep, here in Africa, Kenya, Africa. You can sweep with the broom nicely, make sure everything is tidy and clean. You see guys? And you have to make sure the broom lies down, not like this, like this, so that the place is well and well shaped. So show them how the place look, looks like, just because of this African Kenyan broom. 
call the fagio. But because we are Africans, we don't only use it for sweeping the floor, you can also use it for cobwebs like this. Yeah, you can remove any unnecessary dust because it's an outside broom. It's an outside broom used for sweeping and removing all the dust. So that's another use of the African Kenyan broom called the Pagio. Another use, you can go with it in the bathroom. You also clean the bathroom. You know, when the bathroom has water, it's used for cleaning the water in the bathroom. So that is how I'm going to show you how we use the Kenyan African broom. And I also have a friend here who also loves to show them our Kali. Kali Kali? Kali Kali? Yeah. So now guys, next step I'm going to take you now to see other things that you've planted and then we leave it there. You see? So let us go together. Allow me to show you what else we have. This and uh, all the corn. You see the ungawasima, the one that we used to make Kenyan flour, it comes from the corn. Yes, the corn makes this, they come from this tiny maize. So we have our maize here. Another thing you've planted comes, this is what we have, the guava, the guava tree and the guava leaves. So imagine these guava leaves are medicinal. Eh? Let me just show you one of it. It looks like this. You can boil it and it's used for many things, you know, uh, uh, if you have uh, genealogical uh, or disorders, you know, remember the menstrual, menstrual periods, if you have pain, if you have malaria, joint pains, headaches, yeah, it's used as a pain reliever. Yes, come again. Yeah, this is called the millipede. Yeah, it's, it's not harmful. It's okay, it's lying there. Hi, hi, millipad. Yes. We have the eggplant. There it is. It's a little bit far. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah. This is the eggplant called the bringanya. Yes. And also we have the popo tree. Show them the popo tree. It gives us popos, papai. In Kenya we call papai. It's a very nice fruit. Also... Yeah, I wish I don't know if we can can like get inside the dog. We come and uh -huh. this is how the eggplants are and they look when they are many. These are not weeds guys. They are eggplants. Let me show you. They are eggplants, you know? Here we have the eggplants. Yay! Hi guys! <laughs> so we have eggplants. Again on my side, my right side. We have a banana tree. Show them the banana tree. And uh, the bananas are just beneath. I don't know if you can show them from there. Just beneath there. Yeah. The bananas. Show them the bananas themselves, how they grow. There they are. Yeah. Kali, you are eating, uh, you are eating plants. Show them the dogs can also eat weeds. Show them. The dog can also eat weeds. Eh? If they have a stomach ache, you see? So the kitchen gets is also useful for even the dogs, you know? So what else we have here? Uh, that are not be able to... Mabenda. Huh? Mabenda. Yeah, or here. Mm -hmm. We have Mabenda. What is Mabenda called in English? Okra. Okra, yes. We have okra. And imagine even the okra plants can be eaten. The okra leaves can be eaten. Yes, I know that. Uh, yes. It's a vegetable. Too. It's a vegetable, yeah. My Yugno always says, a nyama is not vegetable. <laughs> Meat is not vegetable. Eh? <laughs> yeah. So basically that's what we have. I don't know what I've not shown you. Here we go. So now guys, I'm able to show you. Take me to the farm. And now, this is the broom that I was showing you guys. Now, I, I hope now you know how to make the Kenyan broom and how the Kenyan broom called the Bagio is made. And that is the purpose of the Now You Know TV. You learn new things every day. So make sure you come to our channel. I'm going to teach you a lot of things practically. I'll also be able to take you to different places, 
show you different things, the real stories of Africa, Kenya, show you how things are done here, so that when you come, we tell you Karibu Sana in Kenya. That is it guys today, and we are in Mombasa, yeah, make sure you subscribe, you like, comment, comment down below and tell me what you've liked about the video, what you see that you need to improve on, and uh, you know, let us just chat and see. We can also do orders, you want the Kenyan Zoom, you want orders, you know, because right now there is, it's not easy to get them in the market. They are quite expensive, almost a dollar, and they are hard to find, because it's until this branch falls down from the coconut tree. You see? So until the branch falls down, monkey shut the music. Sorry, there's music. So that is how it's been done. Yeah? Yes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Consider subscribing, liking, and comment. Until next time, I hope now you know how to use the Kenyan brew.